Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great. This is the second part of a cinematic looks series if you haven't watched the first episode do check it out before watching this. Whatever I teach you in this video you can use it in your films or video games. The topic is how to make your scene look cinematic using lights. It's the most important thing about your project. I have seen my earliest projects that has a lot of details but has bad lighting which made the whole scene ruined than with less detail ones with good lighting. Great example for it is this video. Let's learn 6 steps that you can use to boost up your environment scene and your subject. In this video I am doing lighting for the scene that has a character in it, and I will make sure the whole scene look natural and not just person sitting in a studio. So let's get started. Step number 1. Most important thing is always place the light at 45 degree angle for cinematic look, even if it's an outdoor scene place the camera at darker side of your subject. In simple word whatever your side your light is placed at the camera at the other side this will make a huge difference in your shot. You can watch it in every cinematic scene the camera is always at the darker side, it adds 3D element to scene or depth on the subject face. Just by applying this simple change we can already see which one is looking cinematic. Step 2. Always try to make a separation between your subject you can create a separation by using lower aperture, or by using different color lights, since this tutorial is about lighting we will be using lights. If your subject or foreground light has a different color, you can separate it with the opposite color light source for example, if the foreground elements are warm, make the background cooler using blue light. It doesn't have to be these two colors it could be any color, or if you don't want to use any of the color just simply dim the light for the background. Step 3. Using the motivated lighting. I mentioned this in the previous part of this series, the motivated light always comes from something, and has to look natural for example, if I add the motivated lighting on the subject. Audience will never know where this light is coming from and make no sense. You can just place lamp or lit the fire, it can be anything like I did this in the previous project I used the sky to light the tree and the roof of this barn. Step 4. Background light. This is an another important step that will make your scene natural. Instead it is somewhat staged so properly light your background. Step 5. Catch light or eye light. This will give your subject soul that makes them alive. Best example of this in King Kong movie where they convey the life and death using this small step. When the Kong was dying we can see how the eye light fades away. So always use this light if your scene had the characters in it. Step 6. Add texture to your scene and what's best other than fog. It will not only add the atmosphere, but it combined everything together and gives a smooth and silky look to the whole scene in my opinion. Take a look. Another example the scene without fog and with fog. It makes a huge difference so use it. Now time to combine all these steps and put them together and make cinematic shot. As you can see the light angle is a 45 degree angle, but the camera is not at the dark side, so let's move the light to the other side. Now we can compare both, and instantly we can see a huge difference. The one on the right side started looking cinematic. Step 2 and 3 I will combine together. So step 2 is separating the subject from background for that I am adding warm light, and step 3 is motivating light, so we get the opportunity to use the lamp that motivated the key light.
Step 4 and 5. Properly litting the background in catch light. Catch light is already visible in the eyes because of the rectangle light I placed earlier. Now we only need to lit the background. Last step is just add some fog to the scene. Look how far we have taken our scene in just 6 step. Now all we need to do is just do some color grading or add a color lookup table. As you can see just by using these step we have achieved cinematic look. In the next video we are going to combine the color techniques we learned in the previous episode and these light techniques to give a whole new look to our new example scene. That's it for today's video I hope you had fun and learned from it.
If you haven't subscribed to the channel do it now and never miss an update. I'll see you all in my next video.